We are Houses in the Sky, and we're going to perform our song, After Days. The fear inside is rising. Watch as you turn from me. My thoughts are turning away. One's up and no one's me. Shattered on the open floor. To me, it's everything. And I've been spending days stuck in the afterday. Is called Red Spots. I know you are raised a stake to my love.
thank you guys so much for being here, first of all. We just have like a few like student interview questions that we wanted to ask. But you guys all have like your talk back mics if you just wanna answer the questions into those. All right, so first, um, tell us a little bit about like how you guys just got together, like how you guys formed. Well, what's your backstory? I met Justin and Blake at a hack music room. Blake looked like he he wanted to kill me <laughs> when I walked in. <laughs> Craig, another member from your school, was also in that building, and Justin was actually pretty friendly. But I walked out of the music room and then had the guts to walk back in another day. And I sent my first song to her. And she wrote a part to it and we played it. And those two guys happened to be there. And boom, now we're here. Now we're here. Yeah, I don't know. Blake looks terrifying to me. I Yeah, I kind of have a resting something face, you know. Um, and then just going off of that, like, kind of tell us a little bit about your songwriting process, like either as a whole or just like individually, how you guys work it all together. Uh, most, if not all of our songs kind of start from jams. Uh, Nicky, we, is, we call him the riff machine because every single day he's got like 30 new little riff ideas that he'll have. So a lot of them are just like little ideas he has. We'll jam to it here. We'll kind of like freestyle over top of it and at my old at my dad's house where we used to practice i had like a whole home studio set up so we could record everything so we would just record it be like all right come back to it later and then turn it into an actual song very cool um and then what are some of your musical influences again either like individually or as a whole band i guess alice in chains is one yeah that's, uh, that's like my yeah Alice in Chains, like Chili Peppers. I mean, like I know Justin and I, uh, we both really like prog stuff. So like, I guess Rush is kind of in there as well. Um. <laughs> For this band, at least, I take a lot of my part inspiration from Abe Cunningham from Deftones. Mm. That's probably number one for me. I like them too. <laughs> I also like Deftones. It's a good band. Yeah, you can definitely hear all the influences that you guys have in, in your music. Um, so we also have a lot of like young musicians sitting in the studio right now. Um, so I was just wondering what advice you would give to somebody who is kind of looking to get their name out in a local scene or if they're trying to start a band, like what would you tell them? I would say just show up. There's always a bunch of stuff locally, like open mics and DIY shows and actual shows. So I would say to, like the number one thing is just be there be approachable be friendly because the more you approach people and are nice about it the more people will want to approach you absolutely right i went like nine years of like messing around with guitar until one day i was like what if i wrote something and then i just started writing and then you just don't stop writing right 50 things a day, every day. I mean, for me, that's my best way of practicing is continuously writing and not stopping. Uh, yeah, I would have to agree with that. Like, don't, just don't stop. Just keep going and practice and practice and practice and jam with people whenever you have the chance, every chance you get. And, um, and just work on developing your own, like, your own style and your own vocabulary whenever you can take from your inspirations, you know. For sure. Awesome. So you guys just released a single. Um, I was wondering if you are able to divulge any information about upcoming projects. We're getting ready to demo for a full length. We've got nine extra songs, including or without including Hostage, so 10 songs total. So we're about to start demoing those and then hopefully starting pre-production stuff within the next couple of weeks. Very, very exciting. All right, and then one last question. If you could meet any musician, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, Lane Stanley, the fucking singer from Alice in Chains, is the best vocalist uh, ever. Amy Winehouse. Flea. <laughs> of course. 
typical bass player answer. Absolutely. <laughs> For good reason. Jeff Picaro, probably. Thank you guys all so much for your time. Thank you for your answers. Um, Thank you for having us. Yes, of Thank course. You. So we're going to do a couple more songs to close out the session. shell and our last song for you oh oh thank you <laughs> our last song is called the illusion I think Nikki's tuning right now wasted away from the warmth of what say now a newfound place but I don't know how to act And when all is said up I can tell There's no turning back So give your distance as I hold on
Thank you so much. Thank you, MM, for having us. Thank you, MM, for having us.